Hello everyone, uh, the Son of the West again. Um, I'd like to talk to you about DMT today. DMT is one of the most powerful psychedelics known to man. Uh, it's in each and every one of our brains. It's stored within our own bodies. And uh, in the near-death experience, doctors have uh, come to understand that the near-death experience that most people report after they come out of a, a you know, a traumatic experience uh, is due to that DMT being released from the brain. Now, uh, it's in the pineal gland, which the pineal gland in most Buddhist religions uh, refers to the Agna Chakra uh, and the third eye center, and uh, which leads to philosophical thought and higher understandings and, and uh, deeper inner meanings. Um, and what I have learned from uh, my psychedelic experiences is that the, the whole world basically is death. And uh, the physical world to be physically alive is to be fit is to be spiritually dying and um, it is an opportunity to regain your phys your spiritual life and, and you know at the beginning and ending of time there is but spiritual consciousness and uh, many people will will tell you that you are God you just don't realize that you're God because to have the full experience of life you must forget that you already know everything so that you can experience everything uh, so, uh, basically, I'd just like to let you know that the whole world is death. Uh, it is an opportunity for life, uh, but you must let go of your physical life willingly and completely in order to become alive. Now, uh, I learned this through the psychedelic experience. Now, I'm still here because I'm not willing to let go of my life yet. Uh, and that's the thing. Uh, to be awakened is to become aware of this very principle. Psychedelics like psychedelic mushrooms... Uh, like the uh, Amanita muscaria and the, the psilocybin mushroom, uh, take us right to the edge of physical consciousness uh, in order to show us this very truth. Uh, at the end of our physical lives, uh, like I said, doctors report that a large uh, release of DMT uh, comes from the pineal gland, which uh, causes many who do not let go to come back and report the near-death experience. Uh, and, and if you research near-death experience, you're going to find that there's many similarities between uh, the experiences reported by those people who do have them. Uh, such as uh, when you have the highest level of near-death experience, I think they call it a level stage five, uh, you return to the body reluctantly. You're, why would you want to come back to the world of selfishness uh, once you find the unbridled beauty and freedom that, that is God? Once, once you find that how beautiful life could be and then you're returned to the world who is is plagued by ego consciousness and selfishness uh, why would you want to be there but that's the whole point it's, it's important for you to be there so you can spread the love that you have now found and show others the love that you have found so that that way uh, we can help extinguish the ego from this world and the selfishness from this world <laughs> and uh, this is why psychedelics are such a gift. Now, uh, they allow you to experience uh, death without dying. I mean, can you not see the gift in that? Uh, to experience death allows you to know exactly what you should have done with your life. Uh, and then to be returned to your life to have a second chance. Man, that's the greatest gift that can be given. So I think that you should go ahead and, and try to understand this. Uh, at least do some research on it because uh, the more you know the farther you'll go and knowledge is power so uh, the truth will definitely set us free from from the enslavement of society and ego driven people um, so back to the psychedelics and the and the DMT well uh, DMT is one of the most powerful psychedelics known to man it only lasts for about five to ten minutes uh, but I don't know where to find it and I know that uh, psilocybin mushrooms are a lot easier to grow than than you know finding DMT, um, but basically psychedelics as, as a whole uh, take you to the edge of consciousness in order to show you the gates of heaven, so that when you do finally reach the end of your physical life uh, and your physical time in this world, you understand how to make the proper choice and you choose to just let go. Uh, don't cling to the body. The body is dying. From the minute it's born, it's dying. It does grow, yes, but over time, uh, it becomes to deteriorate. And don't—it's—it's it's okay to love the world, and it's okay to love the beauty the world could be. 
Uh, but don't cling to that because in the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, if I can fly, we're all in a great cycle and the cycle continues to improve. So once you leave this world and you come back to it, if you choose to come back to it, it's going to be a better world if we can overcome the ego. But that's the most important thing. The ego is poison of this world. It's, it's the source of all selfishness and greed and desire. And that's what we need to overcome. And that's what we need to extinguish in this world is the ego-driven people. Um, and each and every single one of us is an ego-driven person until we have that near-death experience. Once we, uh, and in, I think even in the Bible it says, I leave it to all men but once to die, and then you will be returned to God. So experience the psychedelic experience. Experience your own death so that that way uh, the poison, the parasite that's on your very soul, your ego, your your uh, that individual separate personality uh, goes away. And then once you get returned to the body, once you once God comes back into you, that poison will be removed from you. That that negativity and all that anger will be removed and you'll be amazed at, at the beauty of how beautiful the world can be. So uh, against the scope of eternity, our entire physical lives go by in a mere moment. Uh, it is in this moment that we choose of eternity that we choose to live spiritually or die physically. So choose to be spiritual. Don't choose to be physical. Choose to love each other. That's Jesus' message. Love each other. Why would you want, once you realize how beautiful the world can be, why would you want it to be any different than that? Okay? Uh, remember, brothers and sisters, your physical life is death. Uh, God loves you so much that you are given the opportunity to choose what type of life you want. Uh, to choose to live through God is to choose to live spiritually. Uh, when you make the choice to truly live, God will be there to help you. But remember, God will not take uh, your death and your mortality from you if you refuse to let it go. Um, so this is in itself your connection to the physical world, your connection to selfishness, your connection to society, your connection to money. Uh, and these things are all uh, the sources of all the greatest suffering in the world. And, and they create the worst problems in our society and the worst problems in people is these desires, these physical desires. So. Uh, God will help take those from you, um, but only once you're willing to let them go. So that's what the psychedelics teach. So uh, that's why they've been made illegal by our society and, and they've been deemed forbidden by the church is because uh, they don't want you to know this. So um, like I said before, God won't take those poisons from you unless you're willing to let them go. And that in itself is the concept of free will. Uh, so become awakened, uh, realize your true self, Realize your higher self and, and then live from that perspective. Live from the divine perspective. Uh, but you must learn how to let it go. So take a deep breath. Reach out. Feel the cosmic energy flowing through you. Uh, you do not control that energy. You do not control yourself. Uh, you do not control anyone else. Uh, you're here to help everyone understand, not to force it upon them. So I'm, I hope you found this message helpful. Uh, take a deep breath and relax and enjoy your life. It's a great gift. Uh, so use it for what it was intended to do. And, and use your life to help all who seek to come uh, to your understanding. And uh, use their understanding to further your understanding. Uh, don't tell anyone they're wrong. Uh, because nobody is wrong. <laughs> nobody is wrong. Uh, everyone is right. And... Only once we learn to learn from each other uh, can we bask in the beauty that God is because God is each and every one of us. And don't fight with each other because you're fighting with God. Uh, don't hurt one another because you're hurting God. Uh, it's, it's, everyone is God. Everything is God. God is the energy that flows all around us in this entire universe. God is the energy that flows through each and every one of us. Once I realized this, I felt amazed. I, I felt the energy flow through me. It was the most beautiful feeling I ever felt in my whole life, and I'd like to share that with you. So congratulations to you, my brothers and sisters. If you found this message, uh, use it for what it was intended to do, is to awaken your mind, and, and then use it to help your friends. Good luck.